Okay, guys, here we go. Glitter and Gore, also known as Finders Creepers, for any of you that might have some confusion or anything like that, me and Bugs are going to enjoy a Dracotech bath. Now, let's move his little card. Here he is. Now, his little nose busted, but you gotta remember, he was out in the rain. He's also coming from Canada to New York. He went through customs. He traveled a long time. His little batty wings are tired. So let's go ahead and put him in. He is dragon's blood scented. She also makes one in a devil shaped face and she's got such cool shit. Really cool stuff. Highly respected in the bath bomb community. Absolutely love this woman's stuff. You gotta just jump on and check it out. I have the listed down below as well as her Etsy shop, also her Instagram. So you can get on both and sort of learn, you know, when new items are coming, things like that. That's basically how I do a lot of what I do. I follow the bombers in groups, in Instagram. I follow them, you know, I follow what they do, their artwork, things like that. And look at the hairline on that. And that's how I find stuff. So you guys can all do the same. So let's put him in, let's put him in. Do I think he's a floater? No, I don't think he's a floater because in order to press all this detail into him, you kind of have to pack him a little tight. So I don't believe he's going to float, but I do believe he's going to be amazing. Whoa, red, right off rip. Oh, oh, he's attempting to float. Oh, he is floating, but he's flipping over on me. I don't want him to flip, I want him to stay. He's floating. He's actually floating. Holy cow, let me take a photo. I don't want him to flip over because, of course, his nose area and everything is going to go downwards. Wow, I gotta say, man. That smell. Oh, wow. I like the scent of dragon's blood. I know some people hate it. I happen to like it. It's more of like a powdery scent. Some people can't take a powdery scent. But that's why she offers a, offers a different type of bomb like this in a different fragrance. Like the devil face one. They're just cool. They're on the, ooh, he bubbled. <laughs> They're on more of the, uh, you know, darker side of bath bombs. They're not the bubblegum, pretty, pinky, kind of normal, everyday, pretty thing you might see. Okay, I'm going to let him do his thing. I'm going to let him flip. All right, I let him go on his side. Don't flip over all the way, dude. I want to see how pretty you look. He's floating. Here's my hand. All on his own, he is floating. She does leave the warning on the label that if you have any kind of like soap scum or anything on your tub, colors may stick. And to please rinse out tub thoroughly once you get out. So just as a little warning, she likes to put things like that on there and it's helpful. It's helpful to know that yes, colors will stick if you have soap scum on your tub. It happens with the best of colors. It happens with the best of dyes. It's just natural. Anything's gonna stick to a soap scum wall. Do I think I'm gonna have any kind of stainage or anything like that? Not at all. Not in the slightest. Do I think this is awesome? Wow, see look, I just touched the red. It's like running off my hands like blood. Oh my god. This is so cool. He is so cool, man. Wow, and he is extremely fragrant. He's beautiful. I can't get over how cool this is. Look how much bomb we have left. We have an entire Dracula. There we go. All right, get him more in the center there. Oh, wow, my water is really red. That is cool as shit. Oh, maybe I should have did this outside the tub. I'm shaking a little bit. Do you guys realize that? <laughs> Lately, I, I don't know. I've been shaking a lot. I don't know why that's happening. Maybe I should start using the tripod only um, and, you know, doing that. But I really just wanted to get in, you know, so excited. I just wanted to get in. So th this is what you got. <laughs> this is me jumping in and having fun. Wow, look at all the foam. Um, now I don't know if they're bubblers or not bubblers. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't really give a shit. But um, what I do know is that they are freaking amazing. They are immense amount of detail. I dropped the card in the water. I still have it though. <laughs> I gotta let him dry out because I'm gonna keep him. He's gonna go in my scrapbook of amazing companies. I keep all that stuff, the cards, the little things, you know, all that kind of stuff. I keep it all. I'm not a pack rat, I swear to God. I just like, like, the scrapbooking type deal. And Sorry, my hand just went in your way, but I like that kind of scrapbooking, kind of be able to look back and remember. You can almost look back at some of the photos and videos and remember what they smelled like, too. 
This is an extremely good Dragon's Blood scent, though. I don't know where the hell she's picking this scent up from, but this is a nice one. I have a Dragon's Blood scent right now that I'm not too happy with. I got it from Candle Science. It wasn't exactly the greatest fragrance oil, so I ordered two more from my original company that I like to work with. But I do wax. I don't do bath. Wow, that is a really beautiful picture right there. Okay, capturing that. And like I tell you guys, I do use these photos and I do frame them and make collages and stuff with it, like a bunch of them and use them as artwork in my home. I just think, you know, it's that beautiful. I may be a little bit of a nut job when it comes down to bath products and, you know, bath bombs and bubble bars and stuff like that, but in a good way, you know. I'm a whack job in a good way because I'll test out all the stuff for everybody and show you who's great and who sucks. And just so happens, lately I have been coming across some amazing companies. And then some of which that I get starstruck, like, obviously, Glitter and Gore. Completely starstruck. I love this woman's stuff. That's beautiful. That's so pretty. And it wasn't like a fast fizzer or anything like that. He put on a beautiful show. I cannot wait to see what the water looks like. He did have a little glitter through his hair too. So I'm amazed to see what our water is going to turn out to look like in the end. I'm so ecstatic. I cannot believe And I can't believe she sent me so many. There's so many bath bombs. We are going to have so many videos. <laughs> I hope you guys are excited as I am for this. This is incredible. And you know something? When you think dragon's blood, do you also think red? Because I think red. Oh, the baby did something he wasn't supposed to. I think red when I think dragon's blood. I'm just making sure nothing bad was happening inside. Um, it is real life. <laughs> I have a child. I have a noisy husband. You just, you can't put duct tape over his mouth fast enough. You can't. He's going to be noisy. He's going to be in the background, and it happens. But, yeah, you got to love him. He brings the boxes in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I had no clue it was raining outside when they delivered this box. I thought I was still safe. You know, I can go out and check as soon as the book goes down for his nap. Or, you know, because I, I have to take a walk over to where everything gets sent to. So, <clears throat> I figured, you know, I was okay. No, it was raining. So thank God this is, like, Friday's is Richie's earliest day at work. So he gets to leave a little earlier, and thank God he grabbed it for me. Because it was getting wet. But she packaged it so well that nobody got destroyed. Um, a little bit of touch of the humidity got to them a little bit, but they packaged so well that nothing bad really happened to anyone. Um, my purple spider one got a little cracked up. He lost a little tidbit of his nose, but if I wouldn't have told you, you guys would have never known. He is absolutely remarkably beautiful. I can't wait until next week. Next week when Richie gets his big paycheck, I am getting the devil one too. I have to grab that one before she stops making them. I love that she puts up new stuff all the time. There's always something cool going on. You know, she you got to check out her Instagram page too. And what, you know, I believe this is her. This picture right here. That's her, because you have to see on her Instagram, she's got a couple of photos of her, you know, dressed, doing this kind of photo shoot, and a couple of photos of her doing other kind of things and things like that, and I can't believe that she, she is, like, remarkably beautiful. I couldn't believe that she has one gorgeous photo of herself during that kind of photo shoot, where she's dressed as the, um, what do they call those puppets? Ma not man Mandalays. I think it is Mandalay. Where the strings and you control them from the strings. She's dressed as that. And you got to check out the Instagram because there's a photo of her uh, where she's blowing a pink bubble gum. And she just looks so cool. And you can like feel the like horror-esque movie vibe coming off it. It's such cool like photography and she's absolutely beautiful. Really, 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 really good work, man. She just has that like artistic vibe. And you got to see the other shit that's on her site. Okay, this is what I didn't tell you guys about. If you go on her Etsy shop, scroll down to the bottom where it says view more and view more because you're going to see some porcelain figurines and things like that all done over in horror. They're amazing. They are so freaking cool. 
Like, things you would not expect to see done over in a horror-type motif. But for all of you who are kind of like me, who love that, that horror motif and that turning, you know, the norm into the abnormal-type deal, you're going to love his sight. I'm drawing a picture. <laughs> I don't know what I'm drawing, but I'm playing. This is the best part about bath time. You get to do what you want because it's yours. I don't want to ruin what he's doing right now, so I'm just going to let him keep doing his thing. Wow. Okay, that's pretty. That I like. That's a photo. Instagram. Do you ever see Angry Birds? Where the pigs all take the picture and they go, Instaham. I feel like doing that. All right, so we are pretty much at the end of him. Get a little closer so you can see. He is pretty much foaming out. He is all done. Let's take a look and see what our water looks like now. We all see how beautiful it all came out. The red is gorgeous. I always think red when I think dragon's blood. I don't know why, but either red or gold. Those are just the two, the two colors that come to mind when somebody mentions dragon's blood. Red and gold come to mind immediately. So let's go ahead and let's dink him. Dink! Let him do his thing. And I'm going to go ahead and check out the water. Wow. Oh, wow, it is all sparkly. Look. Do you see it? That's my bath water. I'm taking a bath in it. I'm taking a bath in this cool ass water. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Can you see all the sparkle going through? That is freaking awesome. Look at it. Look at it. I know my light is washing it out just a teeny bit, but this is a nice blood red, blood red. Wow, and all the sparkle. That is awesome. And I still got bomb going off. Look how much bomb I got left. He's still going. Let's give him a smush. You ready? The honorable crushing. Oh, I kind of can't do it. My hand's weak. <laughs> no, bomb is, is strong. <laughs> bomb is very strong. Okay. All right, well, I broke them in half or three pieces. That's that's good. That's about all you get. My weak ass don't feel like doing this anymore. Um, I don't know if these are bubblers or not, but yank your earbuds out of your ears because I'm going to go ahead and flick it on. Oh, look, we do have some glitter here, but yes, it is the very fine glitter. Oh, sorry, I'm not on it. It is the very fine glitter, so she did use the right stuff, and it is going to just rinse down the tub easily. It's not really going to be a massive mess. See how it's just moving as the water's moving? It just rinses right down. And it's all, like, biodegradable stuff. Nothing she uses is uh, harmful to animals or anything like that. And you want to know how I know that? Because she includes it in her sheet right here. Isn't that a beautiful freaking picture? Love it. Absolutely love it. But she includes here that, yes, um, she does write in about the, if there's any soap residue, some color may stick, but it does wipe right off. Uh, also, she does write about her vanilla content. Now, here's something a lot of people that do, you know, that do, you know, just take baths and shit like that, don't realize. If you don't use a vanilla stabilizer, because it is a chemical, your bath, your bath bomb that is you, that anybody use any kind of vanilla uh, fragrance oil or anything like that in it will turn off white. That is really pretty. They're still going off these pieces. It will turn an off white color. It'll change the color a little bit. Doesn't mean the bomb is bad or anything like that. Just meant the vanilla that was in it she did not use a vanilla stabilizer, which is a chemical. So she's not using chemical at all in her bath product. Not even a vanilla stabilizer, which is a very, very, very good thing. There is nothing in here that'll hurt you, that'll harm you. No company that she buys from deals with testing animals or anything like that. Everything is very animal friendly. So really, really, really nice. I'm just going to flick the water on. I have my loofah on the thing there, so it's going to kind of be shitty bubbles. But we're going to see if we get any kind of... Did you just see my light flick out, or was that just me? Oh, it's creepy. It's raining pretty bad out. So, pull your earbuds out, guys. I wonder if my thingy wasn't in the way. There we go. Let's move him out of the way. Okay, so we're not really getting, like, bubble bubbles, but we are getting a nice kind of foaminess on top but I don't want to ruin I don't want to ruin the look of the color because I, I like to show you guys I just really yeah we are getting some kind of bubble look at that all right so we did get bubble 
You guys can put your earbuds back in. We're okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deafen you. But look. I just love that. Do you see? Even in the blur, when it be when it's trying to focus, because it does autofocus on its own. I have turned it off. It still does it. Even in the blurry, you can see the sparkles coming up. It's blood red and sparkly and absolutely beautiful. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. Down below in the descriptions, you guys are gonna see my information. Go below it. You'll see the glitter and gore, also known as Finders Creepers. And you can go ahead and hit her Etsy shop. Go shop. Go check stuff out. Go get yourselves a Dracula, or if you're not a Dragon's Blood fan, you can get yourself the uh, the devil one with the little devil horns back from like the, in the 1980s, we used to have the devil costume and it looked just like that. It was really funny. But uh, yeah, there you go. So all the info is for you, as well as her Instagram page. Jump on and follow her so you can get all the new stuff that's coming up and everything that she's into and you get to see and follow all the cool stuff the same way I do so that way you guys can kind of like be in the know with me, you know? So you'll always know the new stuff that's coming out if you hang on to their Instagrams. So any bomber that you like or you see on here, definitely check them out on Instagram and you'll be in the know and you'll know when the next restocks are, when the next products are coming out, when the cool stuff, the new stuff, all that stuff is all coming out. I'm going to go get bugs and we're going to enjoy our Dragon's Blood bath and yeah, it did make me bubbles, look. It did make bubbles. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to enjoy my Dragon's Blood Drac Bath Bomb. And uh, yeah, we're just going to relax and chill for a little while. So I love you as well. Subscribe if you'd like to. And if you do, remember to hit that notification button down there and flip that bell on so you know the next time I do something. And uh, I'll talk to you as all soon. Good night, guys.